A couple small parts and pieces for the body, including the body itself, still needed some extra color. All these parts and pieces were firstly prepped and then primed, and I could then move on to painting them in black. The rest of the body was masked off in order to paint just the sections that I wanted to paint, and I could then fill it up with some semi-gloss black to paint those areas as well. After applying a couple coats of black, I let it cure for a bit and then started carefully removing all of the masking tape. The main clear part for all the windows could be glued into the body. After just putting it in, I realized quickly that you didn't even need to use glue as it just snaps in tightly but I just used it just in case to be sure that it stuck there and didn't leave. Some of the other clear parts like the taillight lenses got painted with a permanent red marker and also an additional color was added with an orange marker. After painting them in their appropriate colors and gluing them in place, I painted the backings in some silver to give it a nice reflective finish. Now you can see here on the left, this one is painted with silver housing and the right is not. Clearly gives a lot brighter and more vibrant of a color. Some more assembly could take place with body parts and then the chassis could be pushed in as well. During the unboxing I wasn't really sure if I was going to use the stock wheels and tires as the tires looked a bit thick and the wheels a bit too small, but somehow the tires were way too small and the wheels were just fine, so I just stretched the stock tire over the wheel and the combination looked to be just right. They were pressed in place with the help of some of these poly caps and then I could move on to all other three to finish this off.
After putting the wheels on, I was still left with a couple pieces for the trim, some bumpers, and even some mirrors. So these were all glued in place and glued together in order to finish this build. In order to give the panel lines a bit more definition, I used some panel line accent color to make them black and not just blend in with the rest of the silver body and stand out a bit more, giving it the illusion of it actually being different panels and not just one big plastic piece with some lines in between. So I've mentioned this in the unboxing and in some other build videos as well. The kit is not great, it's probably way too expensive. If you want to go for a nice display piece like this one, it's pretty good. But if you want to go for an in-depth and super detailed build, probably better to skip this one. The interior is not really anything special, the chassis is not really existing, and the body looks okay. The windows make it look a bit weird, and overall it can be done, but it's not that great. Now luckily it's a super simple kit and a quick build, so that does make it fun, but for the detailed builders out there, it's probably best to skip this one and move on to something else.